back with a brand new episode of Yak Crew. We've got the boy Wes right here. He's the one that, never mind, I'm not yeah. even gonna say it. <laughs> we got Chase right here. You guys know him as the up? inferior oh, fisherman. What? So today we got a brand new challenge. What we're gonna do, it's not really kind of a challenge because we did it the other day. Oh, it's, it's always a challenge. <laughs> Don't we did say it the other it's day. not a challenge because it's always. Yeah, we did it the other day and it didn't, it worked out perfectly with the GoPro wasn't working. So I wasn't able to get it on video and we slayed them. But today we're going to try again and get this one on film and a whole nother other place. We're actually here in the last video and we actually had a really good day. Chase kicked my butt and ended up having to eat some raw eggs. I ate two, Chase ate one. Well, would you quit acting like an immature child? Stay right, stay in frame, stay in this frame, okay? You're yeah. fired. Okay. Who's fired? You're fired. Why do I get fired all the time? Because you want to Every, day, every time up. we go fishing, dude, I get fired. You're fired. How about that? You're fired for once. Fine. I can't be fired. You know what? I'm not taking you to Chuck E. Cheese's tonight either. Dude, you know he's going to be on what? the stage tonight. Dude, what? No cheeses? Dude, I'm not going, man. Screw this. I'm going home. Man, screw this. Wes, screw this whole channel. Me and you can still get it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Screw you. Walk. <laughs> We're going to Chuck E. Cheese. Anyway, first person to catch a bass <sighs> on both colors of the worm wins. You know what, dude? I never even thought about this. <laughs> it's that double angle. We never even thought about this, but I don't know what we're gonna do if one of us loses. I don't know yet. And this is why you're fired. We'll let Wes this is why you're fired. Hopefully, Hopefully I slay a bastard. And Wes does. What are you None doing for over you here? today? None I for fired you. you, dude. Get out of here. Well, all right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of I'm a Better Fisherman Than Chase. It's been a couple weeks. I'm hitting a bunch of stumps. Truth is, I don't even know if this video is going to get posted because my GoPro has been on some really crappy situations that it's been putting me in, and I haven't been able to film. But we're going to come out here and try and catch some fish. Hopefully, I can get one before Chase does. We both got to try and get one on each color, and first person to get one wins. We don't even know what we're going to do if we lose. We might not do anything. We haven't really thought about about it we didn't really prepare for it that much we just kind of decided hey let's do another challenge that's literally how that went and i just lost a bass right there all right y'all so we got a little challenge going on we got to catch a fish on red worm and this green worm i think they're either 10 inch or 12 inch they're big worms though. i gotta win this tournament today y'all that'll make me uh three wins on walker i want to be three ahead on this boy i think walker just already lost a fish it actually feels really good out here it's really cloudy earlier and then it rained some it's not too hot not too cold right now it feels really good i'm hoping that uh that little bit of rain that happened kind of got these fish moving around some so we can get on some good fish yeah we got this little challenge going on but i want to get on a big fish today the other day when we were trying to film and having problems i broke off on one that had to be at least eight i'm a little salty about it right now just had a small one messing with this big old worm i just had one messing with it and i stood up and could see him he was really small i think walker just missed another fish our strategies are totally different right now it looks like walker's fishing really shallow i've kind of aimed towards fishing kind of slow on this really deep bank i got a fish on right now y'all Hopefully he didn't let it go. He didn't, he's got it. Got about a two and a half. It's a good fish. Hopefully he doesn't spit the hook. It's so awesome fishing this pond. This water's so clear, you can literally see the fish swimming around. Check that out, guys. That's a decent fish. I thought it was about two and a half. I guess the water was making it look a little bit bigger. It's real clear water. It's hard to tell how big a fish is until you actually get them in. But uh, that's a decent fish to start with. It was two fish challenge. And I honestly think we're gonna, one of us is gonna hit two fish really quick. Yo, DNR Dusty, I want you to see something. If you're watching this video, got the using these now to hold fish. A couple people told me they were a little concerned because I was poking holes in fish's mouth. I've never really seen any problem or harm with it. The other day, me and Walker went fishing though and some of the fish that I did that to actually caught the small hole I punctured in their mouth turned into a bigger hole and I actually felt really bad about it so I will not be doing that with fish anymore anyways uh, back to the challenge I gotta change this I'm off the red worm now and onto the green worm hopefully you can link up to another fish I don't know how Chase is throwing it but I got mine well, daggone, that's already broken. There's no specific way you have to throw this. I'm actually throwing mine Texas rig on a 5 aught hook. I wanna say this is plum apple. I'm pretty sure it's plum apple. I don't know. I've actually, we were using this the other day in a different pond and we were killing it. And we actually were trying to film this video on that day, but my GoPro quit working literally not five minutes after the video started. So it wasn't able to actually happen. We ended up just put, taking the GoPros off and just saying, screw it, let's just fish like old times, you know, back before we started filming it. And we ended up having a really good time. It was 
was pretty cool. I mean, would have been awesome to get all that footage on video, but it was nice to kind of just sit back and not have to worry about filming. Did I catch it? B-roll, all that good stuff. So it was, it was pretty nice. I have to say. I got one that's about a pound and a half. So you're on your green pumpkin now? Yeah. Dang. I missed two fish on the red worm, man. So did I when we first got here, dude. But it was only, I think it was two, but I know for a fact that the first one was definitely a fish. I know one thing, dude. If I catch a fish on the green one, quick, quick challenge. Yeah, no, it almost makes me think we should have did, like, made it more interesting or something. Let's see what happens. Hold on, uh, dude. Wait a second. Just wait. You got a fish on? Yeah, dude. I got a fish right now. Vegan? Dude, he's stuck on a tree. Oh, I got him off. No, he's just a, he's a peck of head. Yeah, first fish of the day while I'm on the phone with my boy. You got a pecker head? Yeah, I got a pecker head, dude. Dude, this water's clear now. Yeah, look, I'm on to my green pumpkin now. Look, this bass right here couldn't be any more of a pecker head. Like, I mean it. The worm is bigger than this bass, y'all. Look at this. Hold on. Look, this worm is bigger than the bass. That's absolutely insane. Like, why? Why? What is this fish even thinking, bro? How's he even going to eat that? All right, well, off you go. All right, man. Well, I guess I'm on my green pumpkin now. This is about to be a really quick challenge, boy. But I guess we can just slay some bass the rest of the video. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I want to catch a Mondo today, dude. That's why I'm going to throw this. I think if we're going to catch anything Mondo, it's going to be on this big worm. I think so, too. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Let me know if you catch anything. All right. All right. So it looks like me and uh, Walker are tied up now. He said he caught a small one, though. What we call a pecker head in these parts. Honestly, though, like... It's cool to do the challenge, and I do want to win. I like to win the challenges, but I want to catch a big end today. Kind of why I'm more set on the deep water stuff right now. That corner over there, Walker was talking to me on the phone about every time we come, there's a big fish sitting back there. And we don't know what it is that they like. I know we've caught fish off of moving water over there before, like that pipe that pushes out. But for some reason, even when there's not moving water over there, this fish, there always tends to be a big fish over there just chilling. And I think I'm about to win this tournament, y'all. That is the smallest little pipsqueak bass to win a tournament on. Look at that thing. Call Walker and tell him about this taco bass. Game over. I say this, dude. We know that they're gonna bite. Dude, this fish I just caught, the worm's longer than it. I'm still holding it. But uh, I say we abandon this, uh, this two color challenge and let's go for a big girl, dude. Let's just try our hardest to catch a big one. Dude, this bass is so small. All right, I'm gonna let it go. Big bass, son, big bass. That was a lot quicker of a little tournament than uh, either of us thought it was, but me and Walker got that big bass fever right now. And I'll tell you what, big bass love big worms. I'm gonna keep throwing this thing around. I'm gonna try to get me a Mondo. Cause everybody knows I love Mondo. See something eating something over there and I can't tell what it is. Oh wow, it's an otter y'all, can y'all see that? That's crazy, I didn't know there was one in here. I gotta tell Walker, I don't know if the camera caught that or not. How may I help you, sir? Yeah, there's an otter in it. For real? Yeah, I just seen it. Where would this otter be located? He's over here by me, man, it's crazy. He keeps like coming up. I didn't know there was an otter in here. I didn't either until I seen something in the bushes and it sounded like it's something that like stuck its head all the way out of the water. I tried to get it on the GoPro. I don't know if it got it. There's, there's two of them, dude. There's two of them. Dang, dude. It's Crazy. a husband and a wife. I don't know, dude. They're over here playing around. Crazy, man. Yeah. Well, all right, man. I'll let you go. All right. Peace. Oh no, I wasn't filming. But I am now because I hit the play button. <laughs> Come here. No, no, no. There you go. Chill, 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 chill. We're all friends here, bro. We're all friends here. <sighs> it's my second fish for a day. So far, biggest fish of the day. Me and Chase both caught peckerhead. This one was not on the bank at all, so I don't know what this guy was thinking, but you know what, boy? That's a fish. That's what we come here for. Ain't that right, Wes? We come here for the fish. He agrees. Well, at least I think he did. If he didn't, I don't think he knows what fishing's about. Well, this guy's going on here, because we're going to get a dope picture at the end of the day. Well, at least I hope so. Say goodbye. That fish hit it very subtle. It's a very, very subtle bite. So I already got two fish in. Chase has got two fish in. Mine's biggest of the day so far. Not saying much because that fish isn't that big, but still the biggest of the day. But we're not here for that fish. We're here for the Mondos. And you know, like always, I forget to hit the record button when I pause the video for a second. So you only catch the part where I'm holding the fish up, which is really, really amateur. I'm just not that good at what I do, I guess. That's all I can say about that. Oh, 
I got a fish. I got another fish. I didn't even know I had them on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Give me a cool slow mo. Give me that jump. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Come up here with me. Oh, a little bit bigger than the first, than the second one I got. He's a fat little lunker. That's what that one is. Look how short and fat this thing is. You can see the back on him. Just curve like that. That's a, that's a healthy, healthy, healthy looking fish. That is one healthy looking bass. Caught him on a shaky head with the big worm that we were fishing on. Decided that even though we're not doing the, even though the challenge is over, if we're gonna catch anything worth catching, it's gonna be on this big worm. So that's pretty much how I kind of came into this, was expecting to throw something big. Big fish like big baits. That's, that's pretty much how it works. That's fish number three. kind of slow we're getting bit but it's not been like phenomenal or anything in here i think anybody's caught anything really big yet i don't know how big the fish was walker got but the one i got it's probably about a pound and a half i'm looking for something more on the five to seven range i might start slow cranking a swim bait out here deep in a minute the shade feels good boy need a glass of milk Whoa! oh he needs some milk. What I'm kind of doing is taking this shaky head that I got tied on and just pitching it up under these fallen trees and stumps I see. See if there's just any fish suspended over by this stuff. But so far, no good. There goes one, y'all. Finally. I think I got the one you left over here earlier. Dude, I caught a pecker head back there too. The only decent fish I caught today was the first one. Kind of weird that some of these fish are sitting up shallow. I mean, this water's clear, so you can really see in here like pretty good. And I'm not even seeing any fish hanging out, which tells me they're deep. Come on, fish. Well, that's another small, small fish. I want some more good fish. I don't want any more pecker heads. I'm gonna let this guy go. What you throwing? I'm thinking about putting a like a heavy swim bait on, and I don't think any of the big fish are on the bank. All the fish I've caught have not been that big and I haven't seen any big ones cruising or anything. Thinking about going out there where them stumps are and over that way and putting a swim bait on just cranking really slow on the bottom. These guys sitting over there talking smack about me. Think I can't hear everything they're saying. Oh, I'm so sick and tired of Walker being the best fisherman he's ever, I've ever seen. Oh, you're right, Wes. It's crazy how good he is. He just catches all the bass and he doesn't save none for us. What a jerk. I'm going to paddle away now because... Walker's mere presence insults me. Goodbye. How you gonna ruin my shot, bro? Decided you need to come to the middle of the pond so he can put his foot on the back of your head and I'll name the big fish in here a deep. Well, y'all go do that then. I'm gonna stay right where All I'm right. at. All right. All right, peace. I think it's really deep in this pond, dude. I got a fish on right now. I couldn't wait, dude. Oh my God, dude, I, no, come look at, it's a fish that another fish threw up, dude. Y'all, this is crazy, like, I felt a fish, and it must have been pretty big because this was in the fish's throat. This isn't, this thing's dead, and you can tell it's been dead for a while. Look at the scales on it, dude, look at that. No, this had to come out of a fish's throat, dude. I probably hooked into a good fish, and it threw this up, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, all the scales are gone, it's dead. Something ate that. I'm telling you, I think the fish was biting, dude. And when I set the hook, I hooked whatever was in the fish's throat already. You know what I'm saying? Got one. Man, I want to say I'm really excited about this fish. I'm not necessarily bummed. Actually, that's the perfect word to describe it. I'm bummed, but I'm not mad. I just really wanted to catch a big fish. And it seems like the only ones that we're getting are in like the same, the same little, you know, kind of like a weight. They're all about the same weight. Well, average at least, because I have a good sized one, but when it just like, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's just kind of crummy as all. Well. It's whatever though. I'm glad to be catching fish either way. <sighs> little pick head.
I don't condone this behavior <laughs> on my channel. I just want you guys to know that. But anyways, it was a fun day out there on the water. What do you got to say about that, Chase? Dude, it was a rough day. For me, anyways. I had a really rough day out there. It's a two dinker sinker, boys. It's not a good day. Two dinker sinker. Only one was worth even. Really yeah, I only it. caught one fish that was even worth holding in my hand, I actually want to say. The rest of them were unworthy. Yeah, well. It was still fun to get out there, though. Yeah, we still had a good time. Chase beat me on the, you what was it, Plum Apple? Plum Apple Green Pumpkin Challenge. That lasted all of, what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally, like 10 minutes the after challenge. we got out on the water, it was <laughs> over. I was like, well, dang. But anyway, yeah, we decided after that we were just going to try and go for some big fish. You know, we failed a little bit miserably. Actually, a lot of bit miserably. But it was still fun, just like every time we go out there. Got a curse on it, dude. I do. It's that dollar you gave me uh, last time, man. That dollar. Ever since you gave me that dollar, I've not been able to catch big fish. And it's your fault. I blame it on you. <laughs> it ain't my fault. fault. It's all your fault. You knew that dollar was cursed. And I don't you gave believe it to me in that mumbo jumbo trash. Whatever, I blame man. Y'all can blame me all you want. <laughs> Y'all just suck at fishing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that was a fun video to make. We were out here for quite a while. The water was a lot colder than it was the last time we were here, which I think has a lot to do with why we didn't catch as many fish as normal. Anyway, that's fall for you, you know, fall fishing. You're going to say something like, uh, I don't know, you always say something very tutorial-ish. Yeah, you know, he's speechless. To catch he had so much fun, he's speechless. Today was rough, man. Well, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Can't wait to see you guys next time, and peace.